Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Auction House. Auction House allows the player to list items in the auction house and sell them to other players. It has a clean and customizable GUI, it's very simple to use, and overall just a good plugin. You can find a full list of features on the plugin page. To install it, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in Auction House. Install the version that is compatible with your server and then restart. Alternatively, you can just download it from the plugin page and upload it to your Server Pro panel manually. Also, ensure that you have Vault installed and an economy plugin as well, as those two are required for this plugin. And that's about it for the installation, now let's get into game. To open the auction house, type in slash ah or ah menu. This will open the GUI for you. As you can see, there are a few items already on sale that I put onto the auction house with two of my accounts. Of course, I can only buy the items which others have listed. Near the bottom, you can find the buttons of the GUI. Those are actually all customizable in the plugin config. To buy an item, simply click on the item and then it will be purchased. To sell an item, hold it in your hand and type in slash AH sell and then the selling price and that will put it into the auction house for you. If you made an error in your auctions, just go to the current listings menu and remove it by clicking on it. That item will then appear in the expired or cancelled listings menu from which you can just claim the item back. And that's about it for the overview. If you want to see all the other commands, you can find them on the plugin page. Locate the config in the plugins folder. Near the top, you can find some formatting settings. Then the blacklist options here for items which you don't want players to be able to sell. Lower are some sound and icon options for the GUI menu. And below that are some commands which can be executed upon certain triggers. Right now, whenever I press the exit button, it will privately message me this message. You can of course disable this plugin in certain worlds if you wanted. Then here you can set the listing price and rate. You can also change the different durations for this plugin. If you want to tax players for selling items, you can change this option here. And of course you can also change the default max listings per player here. A lot of these options are self-explanatory, but if you need any help, just check out the plugin page. This plugin also allows you to customize all of the messages for it, so you can change your language if you wish. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.